Welcome to the Grow My Cleaning Company podcast with your host, Mike Campion. If you are passionate about the cleaning industry, you are in the right place. Love what you hear? Spread the word and tell the cleaning world this is the place to be. Want more? Check out www.growmycleaningcompany.com for free online video trainings, free ebook downloads, free blog posts, and of course, all the podcast episodes. Everything you need to grow your cleaning company is at www.growmycleaningcompany.com. And now, on with the show. Good day, Cleaning Nation. It is so good to be with you once again. Welcome to the place to get everything that you need to have the cleaning company that you've always wanted, the cleaning company that you deserve. If you want to be a guest on the show, if you've got questions for me or you want me to speak at your next event, all of those things go through our producer, Natalie. You can get her at nat, N-A-T, at growmycleaningcompany.com, or you can just give us a call, 480-648-5149. Our favorite thing in the whole world is hearing from you, Cleaning Nation. Today, we have a special treat in Instead of our regular coaching call, I've got a guest expert, Cheryl Nedro from Chronotech. I know that you guys are familiar with Chronotech because we reached out to these good people because we heard so much from you about, are they good? How do I use them? How do I get involved? What do they do? And instead of us making stuff up, we figured we'd go right to the source. Uh, Chronotech has been providing timekeeping, GPS tracking, and employee management for over two decades. If you want to reach out to the good folks at Chronotech, you can get a hold of them at www.chronotech.net. Of course, the link will be at the show notes page. Cheryl, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mike. It's good to be here. So glad to have you. I'm just going to, well, first of all, we'll start with a little bit on you, and then we'll jump right into the nitty-gritty of what's shaking with you and your company. So how did you get involved with Chronotech? Were you just walking around, and they they put a sack over your head and dragged you in, or how'd the process work? (laughs) You know, it's actually an interesting story. Um, The owner of Chronotech and I went to church together, and um, I was at the time, filling a void at the church. Um, my husband had a great do- job, and I was raising our daughter, and uh, the church had a need, so I worked there for a while, and then the owner of Chronotech um, had a vision to expand his company and uh, sought me out to see if I would like to, to give it a try. Um, I've got corporate experience. I was with a large company in, in Dallas for, for years, and then my husband and I had a golf, uh, golf shop, uh, two golf shops, actually, so I had some background in timekeeping and employee management and so I gave it a shot and that's been over seven years and I'm ever grateful for the first day that he had the uh, approach to me to come help him with his company so well if you can't ch- if you can't trust the lady from the church for crying out loud who can you trust <laughs> Just I know I'm a church lady aren't I <laughs> <laughs> well that's all and I'm glad that uh, I said chronotech 74 times before I realized that it's chronotech so you can uh, slap me in the face <laughs> next time you see me in person <laughs> No worries. No worries at all. All right. Well, that is a good story. A lot of times when people start with, it's a funny story, actually. You sit down. It's not going to be a funny story. That was actually solid full <laughs> point for this solid story. All right. So I'm just going to be totally dumb and honest. And as the host, I'm supposed to be smart and know everything. But I'm going to admit, I get really confused. I know that you guys and gals do a lot of stuff. I know 3.5% of it. So I'm just going to pretend like I know none of it and let you tell me I'm the owner of a cleaning company. I've heard I've heard a bunch of rumblings amongst my friends and the the cleaning nation community about this Chronotech people. Chronotech, God bless America. What on God's green <laughs> earth do you do? Help me out. You know what? First of all, I'm so flattered to hear the the positive feedback about Chronotech because we have we have such a loyal customer base and um, it's just so awesome. But Chronotech is. It's actually really a business and a system designed to help business owners to get their dream back. So if you've got um, remote employees that don't come into the office to punch a clock and you need to track the whereabouts, the the time cards, and manage them from a a remote way, Chronotech offers all the tools to do that. So we... um, we provide tools to ease the process of managing off-site employees and reduce the stress of payday. So it really is a bundle of uh, tools to help manage remote employees from, you know, capturing time. Um, uh, we have a web-based system that will capture uh, time cards when employees call our toll-free number to clock in, or they can use our mobile app. And from there, it's endless on what you can do with the time cards that have been funneled into your account, and you can run reports, uh, schedules, Oh, gosh, I don't even want to get into all the details of what we do in my first opening, but it's, I'm so passionate about what we do because of the way we can help small business owners 
All right. First of all, I'm not going to tol- I'm going to totally ignore everything you said about what your company does. We'll get back to it. I promise. But okay. you started off with my probably my favorite introduction. I think anyone said about what they do. You didn't say. Here, let me read the boring introduction I gave you. Chrono- Chronotech has been providing timekeeping, GPS tracking, and employee management for over 20. 20- I got bored reading that. You didn't do that. You said we help owners of companies get their dream back. I freaking love that, Cheryl. So <laughs> constantly I yell at you, don't sell hands and toilets, time behind vacuums. That is low value work. You won't get paid for it. You sell solving a problem. Just like the good folks at Chronotech, I'm sure have a super whiz bang you know, system that does all sorts of bells and whistles and we're going to talk about those. But I love that you're like, that's not what we sell. If you want to get your dream back of running a company and not having stress and having employees make you happy instead of suck the life out of you, we are for you. I love mm-hmm. that. And I don't want to put words in your mouth. So if I'm missing something, let me know. But I just thought no, that was so much exactly. better. Exactly. Okay, perfect. So mm-hmm. Cleaning Nation, generally the folks that are good companies market well. And I love that Cheryl with zero coaching, I'm assuming from Chronotech, definitely not for me, uh, just she knows what she does, right? Hey, come give us money mm-hmm. for software. Low value, not interested. Let me help you get your life back. Super high value. I'm very interested. So you know, I was going to hang up after the first minute, Cheryl, but now that you started strong, I guess we're going to have to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I do have a tendency to wrangle, so stop me if needed. Oh, no, that's my I ramble. We're going to be we're going to be here for seven hours. What if we have to. Oh, a, good, a good. potty break or a food break. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, now that we've talked about how awesome you are, your big picture, which I love, love, love that you get what you do is not pushing bits and bytes and data, but you help owners of cleaning co- or not, you know, owners of companies in this case, cleaning companies. But let's now talk about the boring specific part about how that works. So I love all the data and I love all the bells and whistles and I really want to dive in because I, I, I'm a nitty gritty guy. One of the first things I do with my uh, private clients is, hey, we need to get your book straight, right? And it's, you'd be shocked at even at the larger companies when I say something like, what's your cost of goods sold? They go, well, I don't know. What's cost of goods sold? And then once we get over that, cost of goods sold is what it costs to provide the service that we offer. Generally for cleaning companies, it's going to be their labor, right? So let's just... And that's usually 90 to 100% of it. So just for this conversation, let's just assume it's labor. So the next question I say, of course, is great. What's your labor cost, right? If you got $100,000 in sales, what does it cost in labor? And they go, I don't know. My QuickBooks doesn't do that. Or I (laughs) I don't know. And um, I am hoping against hope that you can go, oh, please, that's easy. That's what I do. Because that's I'm dying for solutions. So hook, hook a brother up, sister. All right. So if you don't know your labor cost, then you are you're being drained. And especially if you don't have a process in place for capturing the time for the labor cost. You know, when employees clock in and out, they're in the old days, and, and there's a even interesting ways that people have manipulated time tracking is by using a handwritten time card. So the employees get to work. They may, they may write down when they got there or they may not. They may accurately track the time they may not even if wait, they wait, had wait, it or are you it. saying that people would write down eight o'clock when they showed up at eight fifteen? that's <laughs> imp- i've never heard of this phenomenon is this true it, it, it is i think we have discovered something don't you <laughs> <laughs> i mean think about it think about what you're paying for people that just want they they want to pad it they want to fudge it or they're lazy and they don't want to take the time to you know to do it right bottom line employees have never had a business so they don't understand the importance of tracking that time. So when the owner is going to, to run the time card processes and paper payroll, God, there's so much money wasted, so much money. So, so let me ask you a question, and it's I don't know is a completely fine answer. And just clean the nation, we have set up none of this. So all these are just organic questions. So don't uh, no angry emails to the kind Cheryl if I ask her something totally unfair. My guess, when I tell people, this, not specifically Chronotech, but hey, you need to start tracking this, I have found inevitably their cost of goods sold immediately goes down just by the fact that the people are getting mm-hmm. tracked and know that they're being tracked. No other thing, no other nothing. Just, oh, by the way, here's a tracking system. All of a sudden, their cost of goods sold drops. Have you found that or do you have any data on the – I just have kind of experiential data, not real data. Do you guys have any real data of what that looks like uh, when they come on with you or Absolutely. any company start tracking that? Yeah, talk to me. Absolutely. It, it's, it's amazing. We, uh, one of our uh, members wrote a blog called, if, would you, um, if I gave you a dollar, would you trade a quarter? Would you give me a quarter? So, you know, it, it, the percentage of padded time cards is going to unbelievably change the payroll, the payroll dollars, the, all the costs. It's, it's going to totally change your business. I get so excited talking about this because 
people, people, it's hard for, for business owners. They're so business, they're so busy wearing all the hats of business, you know, and when, if they would just focus on a piece at a time, first of all, on the, on the timekeeping and the, the time capturing of employees, it, it's, un, it's unbelievable. You know, if you've got a janitorial company and let's say you pay seven fifty an hour to your employees, that's a low, low right now. And it's definitely going to go up, but on average, um, you know, on an average, you lose three minutes a day, just three minutes a day with 14 employees. That's going to result in $114 of overpaid wages each month. And again, we're talking about three minutes a day, not the 15 minutes on either side of the time card, you know, that, that is really average if, if we even knew what that real number was, right? Well, and that's so also not including put, uh, the guy and gal that shows up 15 minutes late because they knew nobody was going to catch it that are now showing up on well, exactly. time. Exactly. I don't even know how you put a value exactly. on that, but there's value there too. Exactly. It's all across the board. But you you said it, though. When you put accountability in the employee's hands, they they step up. Not only do they step up, Mike, but your best employees are going to float to the top yeah. and your worst employees are going to, you know, they're going to float uh, to the other side. So you're going to instantly know who are your best employees and who's following the rules and wanting to do the right thing and help the business grow. Well, and let me so. mention on that best employees thing floating to the top. Here's exactly the thought process, and I, a lot of you guys have been doing this long enough or they're shaking your head going, oh, preach that, I feel that. The best employees have been there on time, working diligently, staying late, doing what it takes, and there's been no way to recognize them. So they get bummed out when they see John come in late and sloppy. They're like, why even try when I'm busting my hump and this guy just comes and goes as he pleases? That that alone can turn a good employee bad. Go, I don't care if the owner doesn't care. Why why should I care? So just the opportunity exactly. to recognize that good employee and go, no, Mike, we appreciate you. You are on time. You're diligent. Let's hold you up in front of the other employees. And John, we do care and we are paying attention. And you better get your you got to ship shape up or ship out, my friend. There's so much stuff within mm-hmm. the culture that's gonna uh, the unintended benefit of this is really what gets me fired up. On top of the the kind of number stuff. That's right. And people don't know this. They just it, 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 they just don't know it, and it's just so clear. Um, it's so clear on one hand, but once that fog can be removed from their thinking, and then you put the right processes in place, it's it's amazing how businesses have grown. I mean, we've seen companies grow from two and three employees to over a hundred employees. It, it's unbelievable the money that can be saved. Well, for padded time cards. So, le- so first of all, I'm so excited. So what I hear you saying to my original question that we've gotten way off on is, yes, you can absolutely using Chronotech, Chronotech, God bless America, I'm never going to get that right. Chronotech. It's fine. <laughs> you, can, um, you can track and get pretty much. Now, can you get reporting? Certainly we need the, the big number, right? Your cost of goods sold for mm-hmm. December was $42,319.18. But I want to go in and go, well, you know, commercial account number one, how long did I spend there versus commercial account number two? Talk to me. Is mm-hmm. that easy and possible? It's very easy. As a matter of fact, you can set up the Chronotech, uh, you know, your account, however you want to look at it. Do you want to skinny down all of your time spent at each customer location or just kind of group it together by customer? But you not only can you run reports, but you have a minute by minute, up, you know, it's live data that's captured in the system. So you will always know where you stand um, with your customers. And, and that leads me into just to mention two things. You know, we've got reports to show your weekly your weekly um, dollar budget. So you can set budgets in Chronotech on how much your um, your cost should be for your labor cost should be each week versus the pay rate that you've got for employees. And then obviously we can you can um, inflate that for a padded number, you know, to get the real the real number for your cost. But also you can get reports to know if let's say and I'm spidering a little bit here, but if any of your customer jobs were missed. So you're going to know all the customers that were worked, right, that you expect everybody to, but you're also going to know if you use schedules, if any of your sites were missed so that you can prevent those from happening the day of or the night of so that you don't have to worry about your numbers being swayed in a wrong way either. So can do you, and again, I don't know if you even do this and it's okay to go, no, we recommend you somebody else, but do you guys offer, um, so do you do scheduling and time tracking or just the time tracking piece? We do both. We have a, an integrated schedule manager where you can set all your schedules for your, um, your site 
and you might even just have some flexible schedules, right? So you, you've got your, your standard schedules, your known schedules, and then you might have some flexible schedules that you can set for anybody to clock into as long as somebody does. So, and then the, and really the best part of the system is you can set an alert to go out at whatever time you need to know, you know, that drop dead time of the day or night that no one has clocked into that job so that that will give you time to send out a backup crew so that that job is covered. Okay, so if mm-hmm. I've got, you know, a dozen crews running and supposedly everybody's there and God forbid two people don't show up and don't call me instead of getting the call mm-hmm. the next morning of what what the heck, I get a text at 7.30 like, hey, man, um, zero people have checked into this job. If you don't do something, there's going to be a problem. That's right. You're going to call, get a call from the customer the next day if somebody didn't get out there. I mean, Chronotech has helped so many um, customers save jobs. Or we do get calls from people coming to us saying, I just lost another customer. I've got to fix this. You know, we've got to stop the bleeding. And that's how, you know, we know we can help. It's just the people, you know, slowing down a little bit to understand what the need is. You know, it's a process that every small business should have in place. All right. So the big, what about, cause I, I, again, I coach these, these folks day in, day out and I get a lot of, well, I don't have smartphones. So tell me about what that looks like. If mm-hmm. I've got no smartphone employees, if I've got a hundred percent of my employees on a smartphone and then probably the most common scenario, well, some do and some don't. Exactly. And that's a great question with technology changing, you know, not everybody has smartphone phones and you know, sometimes the employees, well, I shouldn't say they won't, but it's their smartphone. It's their phone. They pay for it, you know, and it's probably a matter of time before the laws catch up with us on people using their personal tools. But sorry, I spotted on you. So a lot of um, the, the beginning of Chronotech, in the beginning, it was just well, a hold telephony on, Hold on, hold on. What you just said, that's, that's important. Sorry. And again, I'm by no means am I a lawyer. This is not a legal show, but my dumb business owner thing is like, well, can't I, I can require you to have a car and transportation to get here, could I not say, hey, part mm-hmm. of the job is you need to be able to check in and check out. And if you don't have that, I don't have to hire you. I mean, I'm not saying that's good well, and policy, you're right. but it seems like it'd be legal policy yeah. at least. Well, it, you know what? How do we know what is or not? I mean, there's California from what we've heard is trying to prevent um, business owners from making their employees use their personal phones. Uh, I don't know how, how it's enforced and how viable it is to spread you know, from the West to the East, but, um, you're right. I mean, if you use your car though, if you use your personal car, you're paid for mileage usually, or, well, not to get to and from work, but if you go from site to site, a lot of people do have to pay for mileage or they do just out of the doing the right thing, I guess, for um, people using their cars. Yeah, no. And and I definitely coach that people should, but I think there's a difference between using a car for, you know, 7,000 miles a year versus a phone that you use 18 seconds of data. So j- walk me through. Let's just start with the, I do have a phone yeah. and then we'll move to I don't have a phone and we'll uh, we'll debate the you know, whether you should make them have phones or not at another time. So I've got a phone. Well, I'm and I'm with you on that. We're, Go ahead. Yeah. I'm totally with you on that. I'm just, I'm kind of, again, I have a tendency to spider, so forgive me on that. But let's go back to the crux of how it works. Um, if you've got, site phone access. If customers have site phones that will allow employees, you know, if your customer will allow your employees to call the Chronotech toll-free number from their site, that is absolutely the best guarantee that you could have. First of all, to know your employees at the job site because we're going to report that on the caller ID when they call in on the time cards. And secondly, it's just, it's the easiest way for employees to clock in. Um, and I don't see. So I don't it, see customers giving a grief about that. If I'm like, hey, you, if you ever want to know who was there and when was there, the best way for us to know that is they have to call in and they have to use their voice and say, hey, this is Mike. So, do you, I mean, do you find customers get a lot of pushback from using their phones? You know, not a lot, but yes, we do hear some. Okay. And whether it's you know whether it's people saying they can't or whether the business owner hasn't taken the time to go to the customer and really fully explain why they want employees to use their phones. You know, we don't know the whole gist of that answer, yeah, but cleaning nation it between is a you and me, free number. Yeah, just clean nation between you and me. If you have a service like Chronotech, Chronotech, I would absolutely pitch that not as a hey, can I have a favor? That's a 
added employee benefit, right? Because I, I think for for what we do, and I know that you guys serve other markets, but for the cleaning company, I know that commercial people are really into who's in my building and when are they here and when did they leave? And if something goes mm-hmm. wrong, there's a robbery or something, and we've got some sort of, it, I, I see there's a tremendous value. So it's not just begging, like, please come use your phone. I see is, hey, part of the package that we offer that other that our competition probably doesn't is you know who was there, when was there, and the way that they know it is they use your phone to call in. So there's no way that they can go, well, I used my cell phone and I wasn't really, they were at your phone, right? There, There's no question. Right. So I would even pitch it as a, hey, please, can I have a favor? I would pitch it as, hey, here's an added benefit we don't charge you anything extra for. Exactly. And we actually um, started to roll out brochures that we give our customers that they can include in their bidding process to let customers know what they're doing. Love it. It's just, it, it's such a level of excellence. You know, it states that you are giving your best, you're using the best vendors, and you will give the best service to that customer, period. Yeah, and I love that because once you've already got the customer, obviously letting them know, hey, we're going above and beyond, there's some value there. But I mm-hmm. like it in the bidding process when, hey, you've got other people to look for. Maybe that guy's 2200 bucks a month and maybe I'm 2500 a month. Here is some data. That's here's right. some value that I'm going to add as to why this makes sense. You know, again, he could be cheaper because he's not investing in his company or more, more specifically, he's not investing in your company the way that we are. I love that, 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 that way more than, well, I'll, I'll cut my price or, you know, maybe I'll do some more shabby service. I love upping your game as opposed to lowering your price. Absolutely. There is value in what you can bring to that customer. Absolutely. So, so by using the phones, it, it's a no brainer. You know, it's an 800 number for goodness sake, you know, Dial 800, the toll-free number that we provide, and uh, clock in and out. And now, let's something... say that... Go, go ahead. ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Let's say that, that the phones are... Some phones will shut off, like a car dealership. Sometimes their phones will shut off after certain hours, and you can't use the phone. So there are reasons why site phones might not be available, but over the long haul, the cleaning industry is best off using the customer's phones. And that's one where, again, I'm just kind of throwing coaching as we go. That's one where I would have zero tolerance. If I have an employee going, the, the, the site, my customer's totally okay with using that, and I've got an employee that refuses to clock in or, oh, I forgot or any of that stuff, I would have a zero, zero tolerance. I think he's just right or she has just raised his or her hand saying, I'm really trying to cheat you, and now that you're trying to catch it, exactly. I'm, I'm not going to comply. Well, thank you so much for identifying yourself. Here's the door. We're going to get people in that don't lie, lie, cheat, and steal. And the people are like, thank God, Mike, where's this been my whole life? Those are the people that I want to keep an eye on for the, hey, you need a promotion. We need more hours for you. So I think zero tolerance, because I know I'm going to get coaching clients going, oh, I just signed up with Chronotech is, but it's a mutiny, and some of my, my employees, they won't use it. I'm like, fantastic. How often do you get the opportunity for all the liars to raise their hand for you so you know where they're at? That's, <laughs> please, please, exactly. please, please, Clean Nation, don't let the, we cannot let the inmates run this asylum. If, if that's what you've got and the customers <laughs> are into it, zero tolerance. Sorry, Cheryl, I just, I got, you got me fired up. Go ahead. Isn't it, doesn't it though? I mean, I love it too. It makes me so excited to know that there's a solution out there. It's, it really is a simple solution. Just use it. Just use the tools. So anyway, but, but aside from site phones, all right, if, if somebody must use their cell phone, um, hopefully it's a, a smartphone, but let's say it's not even a smartphone. Let's say it's a regular dumb phone. Um, then we also have the ability with some, with some, there's some boundaries and parameters on what we're allowed to track from regular phones and, you know, the carrier service involved, but we can track their location of the employees on the phone call when they clock in and when they clock out. Um, aside from, and I'll, I'll get into a little bit more of the GPS in just a minute. I want to make sure I get to the, the best part too, outside of site phones. If you have to use a, phone, a cell phone and it's a smartphone, we have an app that will that has no parameters on clocking in and out where you know how we can track you and report your location. So we, we we're not tied to rules on that. We can report the location of the phone, the location services of the phone itself, and tell you where the employee was when they clock in and when they clock out. So they on can. A map. Let me repeat back what I heard. Mm-hmm. So A, you can correct me or if we're on the same page, everyone everyone understands. Instead of calling anything, you just download an app. Obviously, it's free to them, and I'm, I'm assuming to you, mm-hmm. or to the, the owner, mm-hmm. as long as they're paying for the contact service. And then there's no, everything's fine, right? They, they download that app. There's no fees. There's no, they don't have to call numbers. They just use the app. And then we know exactly when they're, where they were, how long they traveled, if they're at the 7-Eleven having a smoke, whatever, we know it, correct? 
That's right. And again, when they call the system or use the app to clock in, that's when we're legally able to report their location. Okay. So, yes, exactly. And the cool thing is <clears throat> there's kind of carrot and stick. Stick may or may not be legal in terms of this is just required to work here. Uh, again, talk to your state and your, I couldn't tell you. But carrot, I'm sure, is always legal in, in terms of, I, I would guess, again, not a lawyer, guessing. If you go, hey, just, just so you know, uh, we really want to make sure. So whoever downloads this app, they just get a quarter, uh, uh, an hour raise. That's all. Mm-hmm. That's so, right. Yeah, there's lots exactly. of ways to get people to comply, um, some of which are, hey, this is just how it is, and others of which are, let me bonus you. And again, the people that raise their hand for that quarter uh, an hour raise, well worth the time. The people that don't, good people to keep an eye on is, what are you hiding there? What Are you allergic to money, or are you just trying to cheat me? Which is it? Exactly. It's so obvious, and it, it happens very quickly, too, when you put a process like you know like this in place. So. I would, even if the only benefit was to get rid of all the liars, cheaters, and thieves, <laughs> I, I think it would be worth it. I just hate people stealing from me. And we know that business is hard enough. And you've got these guys that, you know, clock in and clock out and don't have any of the headaches that we've got with insurance and overhead and law and uh, all the investment that we've got into our company. And, and we pay them first and foremost. And if there's any money left over, we, we get the crumbs. And on top of that, they're stealing from us. So I, I just love that mm-hmm. ability to kind of separate the wheat from the chaff and say, hey, who are my honest people that I want to invest in and commit to and and build for? And who are the people that are probably taking advantage that I don't want to be a part of this team? Because if, if they'll steal from you, exactly. they'll steal from someone else. And if they'll lie about this, they'll lie about that. And I just... That, that would give me the heebie-jeebies if I got an employee. I'm like, hey, here's a more efficient way to track your time, and, and they were against it. I can't think of a single legitimate reason that they're against it, right? It's not like you're you exactly. know, saying, hey, what's your social security number? Where were you last Friday night at 2, 2 a.m. when you were off? <laughs> you're just saying, hey, I'm paying you to be at this place. I just need you to use this to verify that you were at this place I'm paying you to be at. If they don't like that, that's a huge red flag. All right. Hey, Cleaning Nation, next week we continue this awesome podcast as Mike and Cheryl discuss integration and implementation. See you there. Congratulations. You are now 16% smarter. Still can't get enough cleaning goodness? Go to www.growmycleaningcompany.com for more of the good stuff. Ever want to be rich and famous? Owners of cleaning companies as well as industry experts can apply to be featured on the show by emailing our producer Natalie at support at growmycleaningcompany.com. Until then, don't miss out on all the latest cleaning industry loving at www.growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now.